we're four weeks out from Halloween, but on College Football Saturday, you just never know what you're going to get. We still don't have a grasp on who's good nationally. And every week, it seems, our teams have been involved in scares. Sometimes they're spooked, and sometimes they're the ones doing the scaring. You take Bowling Green. They shocked Minnesota as a 31-point road dog last week, opening the max slate at Kent State today. A 16-point dog. Can they do it again and get above 500 midseason for the first time since 2015? Down 13-6 at recess. Play ball. Matt McDonald puts it up where only Tyrone Broden can bring it down. 13 all at the 13-minute mark. Just three minutes later, the Falcons fly right back after a three and out. Nick Mosley does the rest, gets popped, hangs on. Everybody hang on. It's 20 to 13 BG, but it's far from over. Next Kent State drive, composed. 13 plays, 75 yards. Marquez Cooper paints the finishing touch from four yards out. Tied at 20, going to the fourth. McDonald played well, 29 of 45, 263 yards. This was costly, though. Picked in the red zone with 10 to play by Aiden Huntington. And the golden flashes convert. Dustin Crum keeps it from 11 yards out. Book it, 27-20, two turnover on downs, the rest of the way home for BG. BCSN's Britt Del Barba was there for a thriller. The Falcons were handed a tough assignment opening up conference play on the road at Kent State as the Golden Flashes were picked as a preseason favorite to win the MAC East. After Kent State converted on a 12 play drive for a first quarter touchdown, the Falcons and Flashes traded field goals as Kent State took a 13 6 lead at the break as the defense took center stage in the second quarter. That all changed though in the third after a Bowling Green 76 yard kick return that led to back to back touchdowns and Kent State with the equalizer this one came down to the fourth quarter I thought the first half we didn't play as well as we have played on defense I thought the second half um, we played hard we played better and uh, it was a heck of a football game plain and simple and uh, as soon as we can run the ball we're gonna be right where we want to be because you look at these stats you know it's running the rock it is running the football plain and simple I think the offense is letting the defense down the way they're playing right now. Like we, they're giving us so many good opportunities to pull away from games, and we we got to be able to do that if we want to win, especially in the fourth quarter against a good team like Kent. So we didn't get that done tonight, and we're going to work on it, and we're going to improve on it moving forward. In that drive, we were able to run it enough uh, to keep them off balance, um, and uh, ended up scoring, which was huge. And then um, you know the disappointing deal is down here. When we're in the red, you know, we got to kick a field goal, go up top or go ahead or find a way to score a touchdown. And we didn't do that. So we said that we had to win in the red zone. They were five of six in the red zone. We were three of four. And if we were four of four, you know, would have, should have, could have, you know. I mean, obviously this one hurt. Um, but uh, just looking ahead, you know, we're going to watch the film, get better, and come out next week. And, you know, we know what we can do. You know, we think Kemp's, you know, one of the best teams in the MAC. We know how good that we can be, and we're still not there. And it's a, it's a process, and we're going to continue to get better and better every week. Up next, the Falcons return home to host Akron. Reporting from Kent State, Britz Albarba, BCSN.